Hey everybody, how's it going? We're here with a timeless reading. All right, first card that we have out, Queen of Swords. I'm seeing the star on the bottom of the deck. Okay, somebody's coming through to talk to you. This is you. You're on the receiving end of this. Somebody's coming through to talk to you, okay? I feel that there are some like definite big contrasts between you and this person, just like seeing you in the element of air and seeing this person in the element of water, but also I feel like you guys have similarities with one another. Like both of these cards, the people are both wearing blue in it. And it just kind of feels like, I don't know, there's, there's something similar but a bit different about you guys. And also to have this Queen of Cups coming through in this way it's like even though that they may be more of a water energy they're coming through in an air way to come talk to you say something to you to bring something up to you so they're like passing on some type of information i am seeing though the devil on the bottom of the deck maybe just something to be cautious of with this person let's see you're not approaching them they're approaching you from the narrative that I'm speaking from. For some of you, the energy is gonna be reversed and you may be going up to somebody and talking to them. But we're gonna, ah, okay. Some interesting stuff. You and this person maybe used to be friends or you guys could be friends. They're coming to talk to you asking you about hanging out. But I am seeing the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So I don't know if you guys like don't chill anymore or something had happened where there was like distance between you guys or maybe you are gonna chill with them and be like, this isn't really working for me anymore. You're being invited somewhere. So they either wanna hang with you, just like the two of you guys, or they wanna bring you somewhere. This can be an invitation to somewhere as well. Like they wanna bring you to a party or something like that or to an event. It's supposed to be fun, <laughs> whatever this thing is. Like they would mean for it to be like entertaining where you guys would get to connect with one another and do something together. Okay, listen. Even though once upon a time y'all may have been homies, that may not necessarily be the situation anymore because I'm seeing this three of swords pop out. So it feels like something happened between you and this person. And maybe that's why you have your guard up a little bit because having you come out as the queen of swords, it's like, state your business. Why are you here? What do you want to say to me? And I'm seeing this person be like, come on, hang out. But you're like, but the last time we did that, this happened. So I, I don't know what it was that went down between you guys, but I'm seeing this person be like, this is a sure sign of somebody being like, let me make up for what happened. Like, I know that this happened, but like, I'm trying to offer you the Ace of Cups, you know, like, let me fix it. It's like, this person's coming through and definitely making a statement as far as them caring about you. For some of you, this person has Scorpio placements. Doesn't only have to be Scorpio placements, but I'm seeing some prominent Scorpio energy, or you could have gone through something plutonic with this person. You're guarded because you went through some type of painful experience with them, I'm seeing, but they're like, don't you wanna be friends again? Or don't you wanna hang out again? Don't you wanna reconnect again? Something like that. Their intention is to see you and to hang out with you and to have a good time with you. But I, I feel like whatever this was, I get you being like somewhat dubious because of what had gone down between you guys, but they are trying to like turn over a new leaf with you. 
But maybe it's not their leaf to be turning over. Who knows? But they're for sure making a gesture and they're definitely being very direct with you. Like to have them come through as the Knight of Swords, like they are stating their intention. They are stating their intention to you. And they're coming through in a water energy too. So it's like them sort of showing their emotional side. So they'd be like, I really miss you. Like we had so much fun together. I miss connecting with you. It's like that type of thing where they're, yeah, approaching this on an emotional level. Like remember when we had so much fun together, we have so much stuff in common. I felt like we really related to one another. I'm sorry about what happened. Like I'm hoping that we can start over. You know that I really care about you like this. You may have felt like, I don't know, maybe something happened within the connection with this person. You felt like they didn't really prioritize your relationship. Maybe you felt like they played with your connection. And I am seeing you sort of go back and forth too because like you do know that you have a connection with this person, but based off of what happened, you may not be down for this. I feel like this reading is sort of gonna like give you some very important insight maybe about this person's intention where they are now if this is gonna happen again like can you be safe with this person do you feel safe with them there's there's definitely a connection between you guys which I feel like if you didn't have this type of connection you may not even respond to them at all and I mean who even knows if you're going to anyway but I am seeing them for sure come through and make a make a direct gesture to you and maybe even in a more formal way than they normally do like maybe they're not maybe they're not always this direct but i'm seeing them be very direct when they come through like very clear about what they want and they want to see you they want to hang out with you they want to be with you Feels like they want to make up, but not just, they're not just coming through to be like, I'm sorry. They're coming through to be like, I'm sorry. And also I want us to like connect again with one another. That's why Ace of Cups is here. It's like, I recognize what happened, but now I'm trying to fix things with you and figure out how to do that. Cause they're like trying to figure out how to be in your life again. I'm seeing another person be here. I don't know like what your situation is with them. Like, I don't know if this was like a friendship or a romantic thing or a situation, but I am seeing there be another person involved, which two of pentacles, king of pentacles. It's like another person enters sort of the situation here, but you may have felt like they prioritize their relationship with this other person over their relationship with you and I'm seeing that be hurtful for some reason so I feel like it's deeper than that but that's kind of like the gist of what I'm seeing here so it could have been them like I promise that I'm gonna hang out with you on Tuesday and then they like ghost you and hang out with this other person instead like I feel like just something where it was like you could have just been up front with me or you could have just told me what was going on something like this I find it interesting as well that they're reaching out to you telling you that they miss you and they want to like start a connection over with you again when I'm seeing like this other person still be present within their life. So just know that. But maybe they feel like they can maintain a relationship with you and this other person. They feel like you're their two of cups and know that two of cups, like we can have lots of different versions of what that is. When, when I say that, just to clarify, two of cups is 
when you connect with someone and you're like, oh, we have something special here, even if it's platonic, even if it like it can be a sibling relationship, it can be a platonic thing, it can be a like a romantic thing, it can be a non-romantic thing, you know, it can be a physical thing. I'm not seeing that be the case within this situation. This is more so like somebody feels on an emotional level that you guys are connected with one another. And like I'm seeing them seek you out if you're the queen of swords within this scenario. I'm seeing them seek you out, but they do have another person over here that they're tied to in some way. They may be financially tied to this person, but emotionally they're tied to you and they don't want things to stay. But that may have been why you felt so hurt because you were like, we have the two of cups with one another. Why would you do that to me? You know, it's like one of those situations where it's like, I thought that you had more respect for me, something like that. Or like, I didn't expect you to treat me like that. Needing to make a decision about what to say back to them. I feel like you were a bit broken hearted over this. Like you really connected with this person is what I'm seeing. But I get them just like did something that really hurt you. I felt really, really hurt. It's funny too, because I'm seeing like this queen of cups which is the water energy when they come through to talk to you they come through in a swords energy and an air energy so it's like them speaking your language and then i'm seeing when you reply to this person potentially you come through as a knight of cups so i'm also seeing you feel like a bit sentimental towards them and also you going from being queen of swords and communicating as the knight of cups it's like you speaking back to them in their language so i'm seeing this sort of like circular overlap that you have with this person where even though you guys are like a bit like different from one another i'm seeing that you guys know how to communicate specifically to each other like in your own languages like you talk to this person in their language and they speak to you in your language and like you guys know how to tap into each other's energy like that I do feel like this Queen of Cups is balancing two things right now. It feels like two relationships. So I feel like they want to mend things with you and they also have something going on with another person. Two of Cups and Knight of Cups feels like making the decision to communicate with somebody about like how you feel about the connection. But then I'm seeing Four of Swords so it can be saying something and then like taking a break. So there can be sort of a reply to this person but like It feels like a reply, like a response and a heartfelt response at that and an earnest response at that. But then having four of swords is like, but I'm not about to hang out with you right now. And I'm seeing that that sort of be the advice in order for this to go where it needs to go is what I'm seeing. Because I'm getting that like something is meant to progress and it feels like maybe if you connect immediately back with this person, things aren't going to progress in the way that they're meant to. Like they may have something else that they need to work out first for themselves. 
that if you just immediately get back involved with them, like the same thing may happen again. Let's see more though. I feel like this is too general. Scorpio did come out, just FYI. Scorpio is the only card that, the only major arcana. Okay, you feel guarded because you felt hurt by this person, but you also recognize like the special connection that you guys have with one another. They're coming through and communicating with you, trying to offer you the Ace of Cups. Honestly, like I feel a very mutual vibe between you and this person. However, be, it, like in light of what happened, I'm seeing there be just some issue because I feel even like like though they're coming through and being like I know that that thing happened but like I want to connect with you it's like how does that change though what happened and how does that even make up for what happened too and how does that ensure that that won't happen again and I feel like that's not being addressed here like I get them coming through but it feels like it feels like certain things need to be addressed that aren't being addressed is what I feel like that thing that hurt, I feel like the pain is still there and that there hasn't been like a proper like reconciling of that. So like how that needs to be processed between these two people, it feels like trying to be like, let me just slap this band-aid over it without actually like doing what needs to be done to heal this. So I, I feel like it's sort of this thing coming out on top of it and it's like we need to address what's underneath otherwise it's gonna like come up and sort of like grow into. It's like, it's like trying to plant a foundation on top of where like roots of a tree are gonna be coming up and you know that can like destroy a building. Like you know how it is when you're walking, um, you're walking on the sidewalk and there are those cement pieces on the sidewalk that are the sidewalk right and you see like a plant or tree roots come up and like lift the whole thing i feel like if this isn't addressed even though for a little bit you could have a foundation or stability with this person within your connection because you do have something naturally very easy between the two of you as far as the connection that you feel with them i feel like eventually those roots are going to come up that's connected with this and that's why it has to be addressed first and so i get this person's intention is like wanting to wanting things to be better but they have to actually do the things that are going to make that better and i'm not necessarily seeing that so it feels a little bit premature them coming through i feel like they are showing up for you here but also something still needs to be addressed and it's not being addressed and it's like the whole problem of even why you're feeling guarded in the first place. So I feel like they're missing the point just a little bit. Maybe they're not like fully empathizing or maybe there's like a lack of accountability. Not totally, but just a bit. And you would be surprised too because like seeing you be in the air energy, it's like, yes, you're thoughtful, but also sometimes too, it can be not the most emotionally connected, but I'm seeing you be very emotionally connected and empathetic when you communicate with this person. But it almost seems like you guys switch roles, which is interesting because like they're the water energy and you're the air energy. And so you'd think that you would be more um, like not as touchy feely, but I, I feel like they turn into the queen of swords and you turn into the queen of cups when you interact with them. And so I'm seeing you be like hurt by this thing. And it almost feels like they haven't like as somebody that you see as the queen of cups, like somebody very connected and very in touch and very empathetic. It's like, how are you not seeing this? Like, how are you not addressing this? I just feel like there's a, I don't know, like this queen of cups, there's like a little bit of a block emotionally there which is weird too because for the archetype of this person you would think that they would totally get it in a very in tune and touch way and you guys also have a connection that it's like on top of that you should like extra understand this but i just get something that like they're not fully it's like a lack of awareness on their end Maybe they're a younger water energy or they're just like still learning how to work with that. It's like maybe they really get in their feelings about stuff, but when it comes to them connecting with others, they may like stop short a little bit because they're not like fully there yet. Like they may, I feel like they may be like a little closed off emotionally, 
Also, too, they could have some air placements. Like, they could have, like, maybe an air moon or something that would affect how they process emotionally. Or an air Venus. Or an air rising. Even though their sun may be a water energy. So, like, I'm, I'm seeing them come through. I'm seeing you communicate back with them. And it seems like staying on task about what they're bringing up, even though that other thing may not be being brought up that happened, that, like, really needs to be addressed. And then I'm seeing there sort of be this, like, back and forth and then a decision to sort of put a pause on things for a moment. Because I, I feel like they have something else going on. So it's coming back to this situation again of like this Queen of Cups there. They have a connection with this other person, right? That again, like I feel like they're financially tied to this other person. Masculine figure. So even though they're coming through and saying this stuff, like I want to connect with you, like I'm feeling this way towards you like I know stuff happened but like I've really been missing you I've been thinking about you a lot even though they're coming through and saying this I feel like you're looking at this and being like you need to figure out whatever is going on over there some of you they have a child with this other person I'm seeing a page here or children or like that's their yes yeah not for everybody but for some of you guys definitely so it's like your queen of swords over here. So you're not really associated with anybody. And then this queen of cups is coming through to connect with you. And I'm seeing them, them, the queen of cups, be connected with a king of pentacles. And potentially a child or children. So I, I feel like this person is coming through. And as much as you're like listening to what they're saying and probably also interested, even though you've been hurt by them. Or there's been like pain maybe that both of you guys felt. But I'm seeing it mostly rests with you, actually. So you could have felt like that it was more like you were the one that were that was impacted most by this. That can just be also your perspective right now, too. But I'm seeing it sort of rests with you. You can have them coming through and being like, I do recognize that we have a connection, but you need to take care of that first. And so that's what it looks like is going to be happening here. And I'm seeing some strong Scorpio energy. But again, like you could have a, a Pluto contact in your synastry with this person, which can mean that things can be very intense with them, but it can be very dramatic as well. So it can be like, I feel this really intense like bond or connection between the two of us, but things are very chaotic and it can be painful too with the death card here. I feel like your guides are just like giving you info so you know what's going on with this person and like what they have going on actually because you may not think to ask like you could see them coming through and think that they're like not still messing around with this other person or that they're not connected in the way that they are and they may not mention that when they come through to you this queen of cups and so like your guides may be telling you this to let you know they still are connected with this other person they're still actively connected with this person. But by you sort of like, I don't know if like staying away is the right phrase to use, but let's just say that by you not actively engaging with them right now and being like, I hear you, but also take care of that first. It's sort of like forcing them to focus on this because if everything were right within this relationship over here that they have, I don't think that they would be reaching out to you, but they may be sort of like bypassing addressing something that needs to be addressed within this relationship and sort of coming to you and sort of like outsourcing something to you and by you being like nope that's not gonna happen like take care of your stuff it's um you're sort of like doing what you need to do on your end to make sure that you're not put in some type of I don't know triangulation possibly Even though like I feel, I don't feel like that's this person's intention. I feel like it's more of a subconscious thing that they may do. Like this is just the way that they know how to cope, the way that they know how to deal with it. 
but I'm seeing them be super, super fond of you, and it would feel very mutual between the two of you guys. And I'm seeing too that, like, when they want to, I'm seeing they'll be very direct with you. And sometimes that can be frustrating too, because it's like, sometimes you may try to get answers out of them or get clarity from them. And it's like, I do not understand what you're saying at all. Like, things feel like they're lost in translation, you feel like they're not being direct or specific with you. But then other times when they want to communicate with you, they're very, very clear. And it's like, oh, so we can communicate with one another. But I feel that sometimes on purpose, they are unclear with you, which just feels like a bit of a tactic here. So I do feel like they've been keeping an eye on you as well. I'm seeing the death card and I'm also seeing this page of swords here. So even if like when you guys aren't talking to one another or even if you're not like actively connecting with one another i'm seeing that they definitely keep an eye on you like however it is that they're doing that i'm seeing that they do they also sort of feel like things are somewhat even inevitable between the two of you guys i do feel like there's going to be continued change and it looks like something very very big is going to be coming up i feel like you're changing the way that you're sort of permitting people in and out of your life well mostly like in to your life i feel like you're kind of getting more strict with the security when maybe you had been a bit more lenient before like and that's not to say it's so important for us to keep our hearts open, but to also have boundaries too. And I feel like because you've been burned by this person, that now your guard is up, at, like as it should be, right? Like, because you don't want to have the same thing happen again. And it's like, I should have learned from this, but I didn't. So I'm seeing there be integration on your part. What I'm seeing is that there's like a change that you're going through as far as the like security, right? And who you're allowing in. But I'm seeing also with this person that's coming through that wants to connect with you, they're about to go through a very, very major change within their life. And it's going to be it's going to be something very major and it's going to be something very big. But they're they're like just starting to sort of come up on it, but they're not going through it yet. So I'm seeing that's going to be happening, which they may be learning about, too. OK. We are going to leave the reading here. Oh, some of you, there is there is a physical like attraction or connection between the two of you guys. I'm just seeing that now, yeah. Some of you, they actually feel like you're very ideal. I don't know how blatant they were with you about that. Like, I don't know how much they may have said that, but I'm getting that, like, that's what they're feeling when they look at you. So some of you, this is like a romantic or even a sexual thing that you have with this person. It wasn't the first thing that came out, but I, I am seeing that definitely within the energy with you guys. Okay. And that's probably why they keep an eye on you too. Like, they're just, they're attracted to you is the most simple way to put it but they're feeling like stressed out as well. They feel stressed out by like even the even the potential of you dismissing them or saying no to them because I'm seeing they like they just they feel very very attracted to you like they want to be close to you in like whatever it is that's connected with the nature of your relationship. But I'm seeing they like really want to move forward with you. They want to move towards you. They want to be around you. It's like that sort of thing. And that's also, it seems, having Scorpio here with the death card, I feel like th there may be like a little like low-key obsession between you guys is the feeling. But I don't know if that's been like sort of stated. It's just It's just like the underlying vibe within this. But the thing too with like having a Pluto contact with somebody within our synastry, it can be intense and it can be obsessive. Like there can be this feeling of, of like devotion of some sort and we don't even know why. It's like psychologically, it's just like itching a scratch for somebody, usually for both people too in some way. But it can also, it's something that ends up being connected with like very big change and growth that we go through potentially. So you almost feel like you're not the same person 
after you meet them and after you go through what you go through with them. And it can be to a time where like a lot of things are changing for everybody. And so even though you guys may not go be going through the same exact thing, there's just a lot of upheaval that's happening. I'm hearing currently, but I'm also hearing concurrently. So like sort of simultaneously, it feels like co, you know, together, you guys, but also not the same exact thing. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.